Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. You're going to want to grab a light jacket. The temps are low, but you can expect a lot of sunshine. Jason Adams will have your full forecast in just a bit. I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. The coronavirus might be making a mark here in Florida. Now there are four people in our state under observation. These patients may have been exposed while traveling to China. Another hundred people are under self-quarantine. If the virus spreads significantly in the U.S., President Trump says he'll release money and other resources. And new developments in the case of a teen shot and killed inside a Tampa officer's home. Prosecutors are charging Bradley Hewlett's 15-year-old friend with manslaughter. According to prosecutors, the officer's son picked the bedroom lock and took the gun out of it. That's why the state attorney's office is not charging the officer. Prosecutors say he followed the law by leaving his gun in a locked bedroom. The officer will be the focus of an internal TPD investigation. The Universal Circus returned to Tampa for one week of shows. It features 13 acts from around the world, including skaters from Cuba and trapeze artists from Brazil. You can catch hip hop under the big top until Sunday outside the Brandon Town Center Mall. And now you can watch the Blue Jays in their new spring training digs. It cost $102 million to renovate TD Ballpark and the team's player development complex in Dunedin. The biggest changes you'll notice are about 3,000 more seats and renovated bathrooms. Today, the Blue Jays host the Phillies. Now let's just check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. Lots of sunshine today, but staying cool. Temperatures a good 10 degrees below our average high for this time of year, which is around 74 to 75 degrees. I've got us up to around 64 to 65. It's also going to be a little breezy too. We had another front to come in last night while you were sleeping, and it's reinforcing the cool air that's here with some gusty winds out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, we're back into the 30s and 40s, so a bit cooler than we were this morning. But then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we start a warm up up to 70 and then upper 70s for Turn Monday. Jasmine. Thank you, Jason. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24 7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there all morning, afternoon, and evening long.